Have you ever been on social media and you see someone really famous, they got a lot of followers for something that they're essentially good at? Then when you really look at it and you really look at their so-called talent, they're not actually that good. I can't tell you how many times I've been on someone's page and I thought that. And the same can be said for me. I think in every aspect, in every niche, there is someone better than that person. There is someone stronger than me. There's somebody better at boxing than me so on and so forth. There are so many talented people. There are so many people that are special. So why are there so many successful people out there doing something that a lot of people are better than them at? You don't have to be special to be successful. You have to be obsessed. Talent means nothing if you're not obsessed with your craft. When you are talented at something, you're gifted. But just because you're gifted does not mean you're going to be at the top. Does not mean that you're guaranteed success. What guarantees that is the work rate, the obsession. Be successful in something, in any field, you have to be at it 24-7. You have to show up on the days where it's hard. You have to show up on your off days. And that's something special people can't replicate. And sometimes they can't seem to gain that. Just because you're good at something does not mean you deserve the reward. Let's say you're trying to start a social media account. Yes, I'm talking to you out there. Why have you not continued with your page posting consistently three times a day? That's another story. Who is telling you that you deserve the views, that you deserve followers, that you deserve motion? You can't even keep a consistent streak of posting. You can't even look at your views and say, all right, forget about the views. Let me just get my name out there. Let me break into the algorithm. Where you give up, there is somebody else out there pushing through it. Those are the people that deserve success. Not just with social media, with everything, in every aspect. Something that you are trying to do currently now, something that you're trying to be great at, there is somebody else that is not expecting an instant result. You probably are a great artist. You probably are a great athlete. You probably are a strong man in the gym. You probably are great. But it's not going to happen like this. Some people, if you want to argue luck or chance, do you get that instant success. But the fact that you think you're privileged enough for that opportunity means something. You might not even be ready for all of that. For me, I would have hated to be instantly successful just at that. What if I couldn't handle all of it? What if I wouldn't be who I am today? The struggle to become successful is going to build you up and give you the tools you need for when you are successful. Stop thinking you deserve it now. There's a reason why you haven't grasped it now. You still have more to learn. Everything happens for a reason. So what I said earlier is not about jealousy or envy. It's just a fact. There is someone more talented than every successful person. There is someone more special than every successful person. Talent cannot be hard work. Talent cannot be consistency. Because those days when you're not showing up, there is always that one person that always does. And that's why they're ahead. No matter how hard you work, the depressing reality is there's always someone outworking you. Keep that in mind with whatever you do. When you start to feel tired, say to yourself, there is someone outworking me right now. I can't afford to. There's someone outworking me. Every successful person holds relevance. I'm not trying to say that people are bad at their craft. It's exactly the opposite. But they are not successful because they are the best. They're successful because they passed the test. Remember Usain Bolt, all right? Remember Usain Bolt, fastest man alive. Do you not think there was someone out there faster than Usain Bolt, but they just weren't in the Olympics? Look at this, I'm running deep thoughts now. But just think about that for a second. But they weren't putting their name out there. Or for some reason, they didn't get in. So he's the fastest man alive. And you know what? Sometimes the right person does not get the right recognition. Sometimes people are truly doomed to just be underrated. They'll never get the appreciation they deserve. But to that, you have to keep going. Because surely one day that will change. So when you see these successful people, don't be putting them on a pedestal. Don't be looking up to them because they are people just like you. And that could be you very soon. You just have to focus.
Don't expect any sort of result. Don't expect that instant gratification. You need to put more work in. You don't have to be special to be successful. You just have to be obsessed. Let me know if I should keep up the daily content with the speaking videos or am I boring the shit out of you? Am I just yapping? I don't know. Drop a comment. Have a good day. Make sure you train. I'm gone. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if any of you would like to support me on Patreon for exclusive content. The link is in the description. Magan.